Hey guys! Welcome back to another good video. So you guys got me really hyped with these questions. Um, I oh, what can you do too? Yeah. Um, we're gonna do a repotting video with you guys. I'm honestly so excited because like I was, I had to repot a lot of plants right now, and I was like, I gotta do a video. So, but at the same time, I feel like it'll be boring. So I asked you guys to give us some questions, and y'all give us some really, really good ones. So we got the app, hey, and we're gonna go and answer these questions. Um, we're gonna go repot, we'll go one by one. We're gonna repot, and um, yes, um, before I get questions, my potty mix is just orchid, an orchid mix from Lowe's, perlite, and an organic organic potty mix soil. Like I from Walmart, it's called the Garden Ex Expert Gardener. Um, it's because it's affordable. The perlite, you can get it anywhere, and the bark. Orchid, orchid mix has like bark, has chances of um, bark, and it has charcoal. A little, a little bit of perlite and some other good stuff in there and then I just mix it in there and it's what I use my plants. So I guess I'm gonna start with my snake plant because like I had her here for the longest bit of time. Um, she's not gonna get a nice repotting. So let's start with the question. Okie dokie, the first question by Lindsay. Have you considered doing some DITL vlogs where you, you where we can go along with you for non-planty errands, roaches for cooking, fave recipes, etc. Love your planty content. So, um, <laughs> I was telling you, like, in a joking way, like, I don't know you guys would be interested in that, but I guess I would now. <laughs> no, but honestly, I do try every now and then, like, in vlogs, I was doing, like, cleaning stuff like that. Um, but now I feel like, I don't know, like, it just be boring. So, I don't, but uh, for a show on Christmas, um, and maybe I'm also when we take the holiday decor and put the new fall decor, mm -hmm. we might film it into, like, plenty vlogs, but as of now, yeah, I would love to, and it's just, like, cooking, I would love to do, like, cooking videos. Uh, I had a video plans that I wanted to do but like um kind of expensive I can use it for tax deductions but I, I wanted to make a pumpkin pie for the first one with my mom but I was looking videos into it and girl it's too many steps it's like complicated I'd rather use one from Walmart I know but I know it's like a fun time yeah but it's expensive like I mean not that expensive but it's all you gotta you gotta use the oven twice yeah and the oven is just a lot of a lot of electricity okay um I know these lights are always running but there's an LED um, we're talking about heat um, and yeah, but maybe one of these days I'll love to do that video because I feel like that'll be fun. And then I had another idea like you and I, we can make like cute, um, fall cookies and fall. stuff like that. Yeah. That'll be super, super cute. But maybe later, let's see what happens. All right, next one is what, what's the next one? The next one's by Jacqueline's Jungle. Oh my what's your goodness. favorite thing about being a plant YouTuber? Oh, girl, first of all, girl, I love your videos, and like, honestly, her bios are just like. So fun. I like what she goes like with her boyfriend or husband. Um, she's really really chill. I like her. I like her videos and like her hair is really really pretty too. Um, my friend, oh my god, I'll be good at the My friend about being a YouTuber is a mic. No, I'm kidding. Okay, <laughs> first of all, I told y'all I would not mind sharing how much I make on YouTube, but I feel like some people get the wrong idea. But some yeah. people, will, my thing is, some people want to do it. You know, and they give them a good idea. Like, yeah, like what to expect. Yeah, they don't really make that much baby. <laughs> like it doesn't. It's not like you know. Um, it now, thankfully, it's it's enough to pay the rent. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I'll say right now is our rent's like one thousand, one thousand, like one thousand two hundred. Yeah, yeah. So that's basically that. No, but um, the thing about being a YouTuber is the fact that I can. I do like I would have never thought. <laughs> I can make plant content, people would watch it, and I'll make something out of it, like make it into a job. Because this is my job. And like, it's crazy that like, this is my job. And then plant shopping, like what? Um, another fun thing that I love about it is too, is that I have a lot of plants, and um, my mom is always like, people always, they get like surprised when they walk in. Now that we bought more plants, they're like, oh my God, you have so many. It's like a jungle. Yeah, and I'm like, it's for my, it's my job. I got to do that. Or when I, when I, cause they, they used to say that like a lot, even before I was in YouTube, like, you, you, you go plant shopping a lot. And I'm like, oh, it's my job. I got to go plant shopping, it's my job. <laughs> so it's a good excuse. Right. My plant addiction. No, but um, it's fun though. And it's just, it's such a huge blessing, but I think anybody can do it. Anybody literally can do it. Uh, but I would love to like, I don't know if you guys want to see that and get into the technical kind of stuff like that. And like growing I, I used to love watching like analytics videos because mm -hmm. I'm such a huge numbers person, like even like in everything in our finance and stuff like that. Um, it's just always fascinating and like social media when it, when it becomes your job. It's like, it's all about the numbers and then like, I'm not like that. Well, it is. <laughs> like, but it's also about the algorithm. But at the end of the day, 
it's supposed to be something that you love to do because in yeah. the beginning you don't get paid for it so you need to make sure that you really really like it and you're passionate about it but I also know that people get really really busy or there's just stuff that happens in, in people's lives that makes it difficult to like do YouTube but um it's just interesting like the algorithms it just it's always so like what's going to be different no but it's just it's, 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 I still can't like wrap my mind about that, that like this is my job, like this is what I do for a living with. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's weird. I, I, I know that I do it, but it's like thinking about it like that, like it's crazy, you know? Because before this, I was in Jack in the Box, that was my first job. And then I moved to Office Depot, um, because like my friend told me like you should, like I should go over there and like, I was like, okay, cool. So and then I went. And now here I am. It also started from, I think the video is still there. The first one shopping video and the first husband took from the park with Nico. Yeah. <laughs> when Nico was that, which I was, it's always, she's with my mom right now. But um, it's crazy, girl. Like, I just, I, I love that I can do plenty content and people enjoy it. Cause like, I can talk about plants for hours and I do it a lot. And people don't get bored of it. Like, I can talk to, about to my mom for two years and then. You know, like, okay, like, what are we gonna eat? <laughs> like, but with you guys, like, I can talk about it for hours and hours and hours, and y'all yeah, don't mind. And I it's just, I don't know, I can't remember like, talking about plants to y'all. And the plant shop thing is just fun too. But um, <laughs> that, that's what I love being about a plant YouTuber. The next question by Julie Buckingham What do you think of self watering plant pots? They're good. I have some right now. Um, I like it for my calatheas. It does make life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. um, I also like it for, for propagations too. It's good. Like I, I, I have a, I made propagations out of like a good photo. Yeah. One of the easiest things to propagate, but it, it made it like even easier. Um, but they're also good for like hanging plants because when you it depends on because of the weight. You just gotta make sure like you you place it in the really really good and it's a good hook. But when you use soft watering pots for hanging plants. It's so much easier to like take care of them. You don't gotta like take it down, which seems simple, but like you got when you have this many plants, a lot of plants on the ceiling, <laughs> um, it's a lot. And then you and then you gotta consider like when you move the plants around, it makes a mess. Like you can leave it to the side and let it dry out, but like there's a line of plants that need watering, so like you should make a put the like okay, you need to go. <laughs> so I love soil water pots. Like there's so many good benefits about it. I wanna get to African violets. What should you call it? African violets. Um, I think I'm saying it right. I don't know. I think I'm saying it wrong. But those like to say moist. And I think people say to always use stuff watering pots. So I might get into that later on. But they're cool. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Alright, we're going to the next question. I'm going to go ahead and repot this Hoya Kirpia. Hold on. It's called Kir Kirpia or whatever. <laughs> I know it's a Hoya. It's really, really cool. I know this Hoya Kirpia is out there, like, look for the like, specific plants, like, I have my specific plants that I'm looking for, but I got it because it was super cool, and it was $20. Um, it looks like pennies, like, and it even feels like pennies, like, yeah. like, the leaves for, like, like coins, and it's just super duper cool. Um, I haven't watered this plant for the longest period of time. The thing is, I want to repot it in something more shallow, because last time I had one, the roots are super duper shallow. <laughs> so I'm going to use this little guy, and I'm going to use it more chunkier mix than what you just put acá. And also I can fit it in a grow light in the back, yeah. which is what I want to do. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay. Next question by Sandy. Will you ever stop buying plants? No. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like, I mean, no, like, I, 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 no, it's my, it's my happy, it's my happiness. And there's always new plants that you see. Yeah, that is and, true. Yeah, and like, and then when there's a good deal, oh, it just makes it even harder. Um, no, girl. I mean, who is? Like, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not. I'll keep buying plants. Next question by Brenda Selman. What soil do you use for your plants? I have a hard time with the core and the coastal farm plants I pick up. I've tried many different ones and they, and they all stay too wet. I know that, that the mixture on coastal farm uses, it, it retains moisture, like it retains water a lot more. Um, usually I wear it, see, like, look at me using my vocabulary. Um, I wear like house plants. They like a chunky mix, so basic potty mix. You can make your own, like this is my own thingy. I use like um, basic potting soil from like Walmart, <laughs> Garden Expert, because it's expert. Because like, I like to use it a lot because one is cheap and then number two, when I was in the, in the house twice over there, 
I had plants outside and even inside and they were for mushrooms which usually when there's mushrooms growing in them it means that it's like the, the soil is healthy um so I was like this is some good stuff and then I added some perlite for more aeration and then I added like the orchid mix thingy that I use which I got from Lowe's um it has charcoal which I know it has its benefits but I guess it's cool to add it and then I added bark because I like the way they look the aesthetic and I know the plants like it too um and then it decomposes which it was like a long time but um it's just it's just a, it's, it's just what i i guess for my mix um but yeah i know like the plants that i know the soil that coastal farm uses they use it for like cost and also because a lot of their plants are like for propagations and like when you propagate plants you want the soil to stay moist not wet so you're rip raw but you want it to stay moist um a lot of a lot of the plants that you, you can propagate but yeah um that's what that's i mean for example this is like coastal farm plant something about that and you're gonna see a lot of cocoa. Actually, I see a little bit of bark. I have noticed they're getting they're getting better at their um soil. I think this is a foyer. Yeah, there's a lot of people complaining about it. I, I, I think I saw some in like on Facebook. And then some plants are starting to get like you see pictures of bark, which is pretty cool. But um it's just a pretty good one. But I know like the, the white glaze pots, they have like um, cocoa on it, something like that, which is like, it, it retains water a lot. But uh, just, you can make your own simple mix, girl, do whatever, like whatever is your vibe. Um, they also sell a lot of like, in, in plant shops, like mixtures of soil they can buy. But um, yeah, I hope I answered her question. I was doing my best, is that, is that your question? Did I answer her question? Did I answer her question? Yeah, I'm <laughs> Next question by Rachel. I'm sorry if I messed up the name. Ankrum. Just one more. Not long ago, seemingly every YouTuber asked the viewers to watch an ad that doesn't come up anymore. Has YouTube gotten even more stingy? I'm guessing like YouTube was. I guess YouTube was like pushing like like ads regardless if you watch it or not. Because I know like there was <clears throat> there was some YouTubers talking about like to like watch the ads because like they're not getting enough revenue to so, like something like but it, it's complicated though because youtube that's what i'm saying like youtube is like there's there is rpm and cpm and basically what might have been for youtubers is rpm because it's how much you get usually because cpm see i don't know how to answer questions so i don't know what i'm rambling about but sometimes youtuber youtube doesn't pay, it's the ads on youtube that pays the ads that you see those those companies are the ones that pay YouTube to like put them in the videos. Sometimes during the seasons, they don't put the, the ads are not worth that much. But it also depends on your genre kind of videos you make. And then at the same time, I think YouTube takes forty percent or sixty percent of how much you make. For example, let's say a uh, thousand views makes twenty dollars, then you're you're just gonna get like nine dollars, and YouTube keeps the rest, and then you get to pay taxes. But um, I know there was a time. But I didn't start on my numbers though. I know there was a time that some YouTubers were saying like to watch their ads and something like that because like they're not showing up. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's just I don't know. Like I mean, not like that. Like she said, like this woman in the lamp was seemingly every YouTuber asked viewers to watch an ad. So yeah, yeah. Like it's just depends. <clears throat> but I haven't really had any problems, and I. I guess you just pump more content. <laughs> like if you're like not hitting your, your quota to like pay your bills, um, develop another source of income or like um, pump more content. Yeah. Because it was by that. Um, yeah. Um, but the RPM, the CPM changes every day and it's different for every YouTuber. So like maybe that person was not making enough with their CPM or RPM. Same thing though. And they were asking the viewers to watch it. But if there's not ads popping up, then um, this should have been live. <laughs> if there was not ads popping up, it could be because uh, the, the viewer has ad blocks on or they're a YouTube, um, what do you call it? YouTube premium? YouTube premium. Which you, you still get, actually you get more, I think so, when you're a YouTube um, premium user. On, like, you have the subscription on YouTube um, to not watch ads. I think YouTubers get, um, a cut out of that not a lot but it's a lot more than ads um yeah i mean i don't know i always say just like but i'm not every, everything is different. like for example for me there was a moment when i wasn't making enough to pay my bills um so that's what i'm doing daily uh 
and not honesty. Yeah. Um, yeah. But oh, I don't know. Everybody's different. And my thing is, I share sometimes way too much. Like I say things. I don't know. I, I feel like I say things that I really shouldn't be saying. Um, like it's like taboo or something like that. But like, I don't like. I, I always say like if you feel comfortable saying something and I do it understand privacy. This is I don't know, this is a way from like the question, but I don't like keeping secrets and I like sharing everything and being completely transparent basically. So I always make sure that my actions are like clear and like that I'm doing like the right thing. So I'm not embarrassed to say the truth. Because like you really shouldn't be embarrassed to say the truth. Or like, like to say how it is. But not people want privacy and stuff like that. But when you're a YouTuber, like, that kind of thing is out of it. Because like you're sharing your life online. But, um, yeah, like you gotta understand it. See, but um, I don't know. But yeah, like maybe that person was not making enough money so that they or that ads were not popping up. There's always ads popping up. That's something like I don't understand because like there's always ads popping up all the time. YouTube, YouTube is a big company. They're always gonna have like companies wanting to advertise. Always, always. So I don't know, maybe it was a glitch in the system, but um, it happens. Next question. Even though grandma's house had lighting that would make any plant lover envious, you seem more at home in the apartment. How are you feeling about being back and signing on for another year? Good. I mean, I always, I, my mom and I talk about it every now and then. Um, I do get sad, you know, but at the same time, I'm more at peace in here and I'm a lot more focused. There's not a lot of problems. Um, <laughs> Um, it's just a lot more peaceful and I need, I need, I love, I love the weather. It was always busy and you can say chaotic, I guess you can say, because it was chaotic some days and I loved it. I was always like busy, but I was, I wasn't, it was too much. It was too much. The, um, yeah, and there's other stuff too, but at the same time, I'm happy. And then when I was looking for another, because we were debating, like, should we renew? Or should we purchase a house already? Or should we find another apartment? And it's, as I was looking, it's, it's just hard. Yeah, as I was looking, I was struggling to find an apartment. Like, I mean, there is apartments, but there is nothing like this one that looks nice. Nine feet ceiling, third floor, great windows, two bathrooms, three bedrooms for a thousand something. And a beautiful kitchen. I, like, everything's small, but it's great. Um, I love it and it's great and it was high. It was hard to find another apartment that I kind of like and at the same time you gotta consider about like money because you gotta do deposits and fees and stuff like that then you gotta consider about your credit score and all that kind of jazzy stuff so I was thrilled and happy when they let us renew again because like um, I was just really, really happy because <laughs> I, I was getting scared. Um, I, I, I don't know. We, we, we had plans, like we had a backup plan. We, I always try to have a backup plan all the time, but I'm happy that um, we got a ring. Like, I don't think, I was crying, I think so. Like, I was like tearing up. I was like, oh my god, I'm so grateful. Like, the letters ring. Really but I'm okay. <laughs> that sounds like a question, I'm pretty sure. Next question. Here's a fun question by Brittany Robinson. If you could be a plant, what plant would you be? Go mm -hmm. well, then, why did I feel like you were gonna answer that? Because everybody knows that I love my photos and photos. I love my photos. What about you? Mm -hmm. Be going to Canada's plan. That's not a good plan. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm it. A little bit. I'm the same. <laughs> no, no, I guess to be going there. Yeah. Period. Yeah, they're pretty. They're really shimmery and like, they like the cool. They like, they like cool temperatures. Um, that was a good question. Next question by Anthony Lawson. What is you and boyfriend's favorite movie to watch? <laughs> the answer two questions, but we're gonna do the first one. What's my favorite movie to watch? Our favorite movie to watch. Our together? Yes. Um, because we have our favorite shows. We watch shows more than movies. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get a table so you guys can see the recording. Well, I guess we can say the way in German deal. Like any Madea movie, we like to watch it together because it's so fun. Like even the Halloween movie, which we should watch too because it's Halloween. Happy Halloween! We don't really celebrate it. I mean, we can, I kind of do now because of my boyfriend. He likes Halloween. But um, happy Halloween. Stay safe, besties. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Get that candy, girl. Or those, I like to go because like the clearance the next day. Oh, yeah. But like, you get those, I always get it first. Because <laughs> they wake up early and they get it first. I'll take a period. Um, 
I guess we can say our show because we, we have a lot of our shows together. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the recent one is Anna, Anna Derby. Inventing Anna. Inventing Anna from Netflix. Oh my god, that one's so good. We watched it within one day. Another yeah. one is um, Vampire Diaries, which I had up my face, yeah. but I got mad because she kept messing up and I'm like, yeah, that's so problematic. Like, because I, I, I finished, I finished all of it. And then I showed my boyfriend, and I got it. It got way too big for him. Yeah, I, I was watching like hours and hours, but then I kept being annoyed after like so many episodes season. I was like, this girl keeps messing up. And I get like in a movie, like there has to be like one character to mess up so it makes it interesting to develop more like watch time, whatever you want to say, or climax, whatever you want to say. But um, it kept pissing me the hell off. <laughs> and then she had two boy or man that were fighting for her, and I'm like, eh, she's problematic. Like, <laughs> but um, yeah, that was a good show. What's some of the good shows? I mean, mine would be like, I guess we can say like, we do like watching it. The All of Us Are Dead. That zombie one. Oh, that one's good too. Yeah. Oh, that, that one's good too. That one was really good. Um, and then they're gonna come with a season two. So exciting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess you just say your favorite movie. Say, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Yeah. I guess, I guess you can say Resident Evil. I like I like zombie movies and that's really zombie movies. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I like stuff. Um, okay, my favorite movie, a Nemo, Nemo. or um, Bugs Life. So, yeah, I love Bugs Life. <laughs> what? I love Nemo and that one. I'm a big Disney. I'm, well, not even Disney. I just like animation, mm -hmm. like cute family. Um, I love Bugs. Um, yeah, that's cute. What else you <laughs> And he also said. Favorite non plant related hobby or outing? Just outing. Like outdoor, outdoor like, activities? Like, yeah, outdoor activities. Like, what is yours? Not going to be your favorite like, non plant activity. You like. Uh, food. <laughs> <laughs> this like for ours completely could be like the park. The park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the park. I think my favorite non activity. I don't know. I just I do a lot of family stuff and um, plant stuff. Mm -hmm. That's little and eating. I love you. But that's literally all I do. I'm a boring person. I don't even have no friends. I consider my family as friends. Which that's like it wasn't as a bad thing, but I don't it's 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 mixed. My thing people is, say it's bad, people say it's good. We're only so much like, we only have so much to give. Like I see those like batteries, you know? Um, we get drained, and for me, work and family, that's all I have. Work and family, and I see your family. So, um, that's, that's all I do. That's all I have for. <laughs> but, um, and I love it, I'm fine. I think so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Okay, what's the next question there? Next question. Same person, uh, Rachel Agram. Is boyfriend getting more into plants, or is he existing? That, or is he assisting you out of the goodness of his heart? Has he thought any more about putting content on his channel? You know what, you're helping me because you're getting paid for <laughs> Well, I like taking care of his plants because some like, it's really like... Therapeutic. There, there you go, that was the word I was looking for, yeah. therapeutic. And I have posted just yesterday. Um, it's a good video to go watch. Yes, I reposted on my feed, them. but I'll put a link below for y'all in the comment yeah. section and description. Oh, something fell! I know, I thought it was shit for a second. Like, <laughs> no, it's like, this is the, the plan my mom get, got me, and it's from. My grandma took a big chunk. But um, <laughs> it's from. Uh, then I said, stop. They stop playing, which is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. She got it for me. Oh, oh my god, my mom. Why'd she buy the pink one? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, period. Okay. Next question. Yeah. By. Uh, I'm sorry, but I messed up the name. Ivani Cummings, when did your plant acquisition happen? How long have you been a plant daddy? Not daddy. See that I'm an it or a mommy? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, when I read about it, I was like, excuse me? No, I'm kidding. And not like, I have a, so I'm a male, but whatever. I always tell my brothers, I'm a hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just jokes, okay? Um, what you say? <laughs> when did your plant exception happen and how long did it But since when? I guess since like, does it work? I mean, the houseplants was like 
it, it was before COVID. It's before I met you too. Mm -hmm. It was, I remember, because when I got my chick, <laughs> I went to my dad because he was going through stuff and I wanted to help him. And he gave me a room. And I planted out of that room, girl. What, I remember I had, I had succulents because it, it was like soft facing windows. I had succulents, I had marantas, I had my Brazil, I have my new portals, and I still have those plants with me. I chopped them up so you can make sure that high. But um, I do have them. Oh, I forget about just stickers. I always forget about this kind of stuff. You want to get rid of But house plants, six years. It was when I, when I, it's crazy, when I started working for myself. When I became self employed. And I was always at home, I got into plants, like house plants. And then it got deeper when we went to Park 410 which is our first apartment that we got and it was just so depressing it was a good vibe it was nice and cozy i love my apartment my mom always told me like you never forget about your first apartment and it's so true um you had awesome that but uh, i did like it even though like, the highway was like 100 feet away <laughs> literally, literally like, 100 feels like more like 70 80. like 50 feet possibly yeah but, it was um, really close and um it got deeper in there because I had a house. I mean, we had an apartment, and there was I could decorate like crazy. So I put plants everywhere. And then when COVID happened, COVID happened when we were in Park for a time. Yeah. It didn't really do much because like I was already inside. I know that's one of the big phase of it for a lot of people. Um, they had their plant awakening, their plant gene activated. But um, and so that's when I made, started making plant videos and then my construction video popped up, like it was doing so good. It got like, I think it got 400 views, 300 views, like around the poll, I remember. And, and like, I was like, oh my God, it's real. Like it's got 300 views. And you were like, you're so proud of me. And then I was like, yeah, like, let's go again. Because <laughs> uh, before I did YouTube, we would, you would take me to shopping like almost every day. Because like, I was always at home working. <laughs> And um, and also doing house chores. And when you came from work, I was like, take me shopping. <laughs> like, take me plant shopping. I want to go look at some plants. And I remember, like, I still remember the times, like, oh my god, I'm gonna cry out. Um, I'm gonna tear up. No, good times. But plants, 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 since when I was a child. Um, you can ask my grandma's. <laughs> like, I used to steal my grandma's plants. Like, <laughs> actually, my better. As my dad's side of the family, I stole plants from her. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I have my little greenhouse in the, in, the, in the clubhouse. I have my plants hidden. And then, <laughs> no, but she knew though. She was so cute. I, I love her about that. Like, she was letting me like do my thing. I was travieso. And then my other girl, my mom's side of the family, um, she gave me a little terreno and I grew like vegetables and crazy, crazy stuff like that. My grandpa would take care of it for me. Because uh, I would go there on the weekends only. But I was so cutting to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I was a broke child. No, but I, I would um, she she would give me cuttings. So she would like you know cut the yard and then she would like you want you want it like ramitas de la yarda mm -hmm. like um cuttings from the yard from the plant other plants and I was like mm, yeah and then I took it and I just put yeah. it in the ground and I was always yeah it was I was always into plants because my grandmas they're the ones that got me into it. So online to me go girl. What's the next? Okay, how do you deal with plant? burnout if this if it has happened i want to be real blunt to you and you can say what you want to say i'm kind of not gonna like it um screw the plants like <laughs> you are first it happens and stuff happens to you like you know stuff happens don't put your first girl um the plants plants are very resilient and they will bounce back so let them die um, like, don't worry about it. Like, people feel bad when their plants die because they feel like they're failing. You are first. It happens. When you, your plant burnout happens. Just rest. Find yourself. Go outside. Like, do whatever you, makes you happy. Hang with your family. And it will come back to you. It always does to me. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's why, like, my portals because, like, she's, she's a loyal girl. She's always there for me. I'm good too. Um, and Valentino too. Um, She's, the plant is always, it's so resilient. I wouldn't go it for a month. I get water and she'll bounce back. But um, I just let the plants die. Like I put myself first, so you, they're gonna die. <laughs> but um, you can get them to France, you can get out. You can always go plant shopping. Like you can always buy new plants. You can always propagate plants. You can always trade plants. You can always sell plants that you made from your cuttings and buy new plants. Girl, it's fine, it happens. Um, I don't know, it's like there's some sort of shame. Like when you're like stopped to great plants, you're like, oh, he's not a real plant parent. I'm like, no, 
girl, I'm a human being. Like, I need to recharge my batteries. Mm -hmm. I need to heal my soul. And yes, plants do make me super duper happy. But sometimes you keep giving, giving, giving. You need to know how to give to yourself. So, um, take it as you want it. I'm, putting, I'm gonna take a shot. I straightened it and I was gonna keep it again like that, but I struggled to like, I have a the thing. You're like, I know you last minute, I found out second shot with it. But <laughs> I, I need to wash. I'm touching the dirt and I'm putting it in my hand. But um, no, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next question by V. How long have they been together? Love you guys, by the way. Five years. But that's a long time. Long time. Where? Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have to have a ring? No, it's okay though. We talked about this before. I will need a ring to confirm that we're together. No, my skill is not I'm a oh, citizen. Yeah. I'm a digital jug, okay? I'm a citizen. <laughs> Girl, I will need a ring or like write the papers on. The type of tax I don't need a ring or papers to like know that we're like an official thing. Um, you know that's that stuff is expensive. Like just give me so please check. Please give me like like a, a flower from outside and just put holes like that. And then work on that ring. But <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, five years girl, we are doing good. We have our ups and downs. Um I got with you when I was nineteen. And you were twenty two? Or twenty one. You were twenty one and I was nineteen. I feel like I'm younger. I'm, my, I'm about to be 23 years old. Um, you're, you just turned 25. Yeah, I just turned 25. Crazy stuff. I'm gonna be 23. What have I done with my life? <laughs> You've done a lot. Not enough. You've done a lot. You know, I usually don't like being petted like that. <laughs> like, I feel like Headed. I'm Well, like that, girl, I don't feel like a pet. Like, I better not be trying to like, um, make Comfort. me go, yeah. You know how I like to be comforted with food, but no, yeah, that's I don't like being petted. It's because teachers should do it a lot. I hate it. Who? Teachers. Oh, oh that is true. Okay. Anyways, it's something bad. Cool. Okay, next question. Next question by Brittany Wall. Which houseplants would you consider the fastest growing in your collection? The fastest houseplants in my collection? <laughs> Golden photos. Let it go. I'm giving you guys a plant that's kind of um. Big, uh, polka dot begonia if you give it a grow light. Money trees if you give it a grow light. Money trees throw out leaves every like four days if you give it a good grow light. Mm -hmm. um, any grow light from Amazon girl. And begonias too. Is it Calathea right? Yeah, Calathea's too if you give it, an, if you're like giving it water and like a grow light. Anything with a grow light makes you grow fast, but some more than others. Mm -hmm. um, but if you just give it like window light, like from like 10 feet away on a low light window, a golden potos. Um, any potos or philodendrons, they tend to be really, really good. Except the, the potos enjoy the glacier potos, and the other one, those are kind of slow. But um, compared to golden potos. But yeah, those are pretty fast. <laughs> Next question by Camille Floyd. When you're gonna go plant shopping for me? Mm -hmm. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Just depends. We might go tomorrow, I don't know. Next question from Wendy Contreras. Oh my god. Well, the deal's too cute. Okay, so my repotting questions. Do you have a go-to store for all of your soil, perlite, etc., Or is there a random base on convenience and budget? That. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, convenience and budget? Yeah. I, I mean, girl. Girl, I, I don't have that kind of money to, like, buy bougie shit like that. I don't... Soil is soil. Just add a perlite and boom, she cute. Like, that's all I do. Um... But I do try to get good potting mix. You want a good, nice, dark potting mix, which is literally anywhere. Uh, I do try to get Garden Expert or Expert Gardener. Expert Gardener from Walmart. So I always try to get that one. Um, but yeah, whatever's convenient, whatever's nearby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she said, also, soy mix and pot type for a fiddle leaf bake. Girl. <laughs> this is not a, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that experienced. I don't, because I'm scared to give advice and if it fiddles. It's my fault. Um, I don't know about fiddles. Why can't she sell like a pot dolls? <laughs> um, a fiddle, I don't know. I, I think they, 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 they want a good chunky mix, but you want to make sure there's like something in there that's like 
thin it retains with some moisture because I know fettles like to stay moist. Um, but yeah. So I don't know. I, I really don't know how to ask the question. I don't want to give her better advice. So I don't know. I, I give my same putting soil as any other like plant that I have because they're all, all usually aeroids. A good chunky mix. Fairlight, bark, and a good putting soil. That's what I give it. Next question by Shasti. Hi, I just adopted two cute little kittens and was wondering how you keep Valentine out of your plant collection. Congrats on your new babies! <laughs> two little family members enjoying your friend. Yes, um, Valentino. He, he was a natural though, he didn't really get into plants. He, he, he had. He likes to spider plants though. He oh, loves spider plants, he loves dracenas. I think his cats like to like use that for like cleaning their teeth. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, yes, because they're kittens. Kittens are always going to be like, oh my yeah. god. Kittens, she said kittens or cats? Kittens. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get, they're gonna be crazy. Um, so but if you have like a, like a fiddle or like a money tree, they'll just jump on it and just like, oh my god. Um, they're gonna have their face. You can like get a spray bottle, not spray them directly, but when they're near a plant and it seems like they're gonna jump on it, spray the plant to scare them. To make the, the plants scary. So they won't go in there again. They yeah. might, but just do that. I have um, like three or four tries that. And it's, yeah, it's that, that should work out. But usually they're just traviesos and they're just yeah. reckless. And sometimes I'll go sneaky, they'll just do it. You guys said you never really jump. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Go. And it's better to do it at night. And at night, still, they're probably gonna do it like. Because they're not turning on. Yeah. Well, they're not turning on. They just. I'm not gonna cut a schedule. They just have zoomies. In the middle yeah. of the night, you're just gonna hear like a bunch of like scurrying around the your apartment or house. Yeah. But it's better to take advantage of it during the day. No, yeah. Valen night. Uh -huh. Valentino. Sorry. Valentino, to answer that question, he's he has matured and he doesn't miss my plants at all anymore. Thing. I don't know what we did, but <laughs> he doesn't mess with plants anymore. I do make sure to give him um, something to scratch on, as any other cat owner should give. And then I make sure his cat litter is clean, because if not, he would shit in your pudding. Um, that is true. I learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like, we got really lucky with, like, with Valentino. He was crazy when he was little. Very but crazy. He stops. I don't. I guess he just matured. Like he got bored of it. Or... Yeah, he's just became a boring cat, and I love that for him. Not boring. <laughs> he's really cute, and I do enjoy like something. I don't know if we should mention this in the video, but in the night he creeps us out. Not because he meows like super duper. Like long. you'll like we'll be in the room or we'll be like watching TikToks, and all of a sudden are in the middle of the night. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. And it's creepy. I'm just like, oh my god. Next question by D. Francisca. Do you ever have any issues with Valentino eating leaves or getting into your plants? Which you already had to. Just the spider plants and Drancinos, they love those for some reason. Mm -hmm. I have a cat and I'm scared to get large plants that go on the floor because I, I know most are toxic to cats. I don't want him messing with them. If any tips, that would be great. Um, You can just place it, place it arriba. So you can place it where they're not there. I know mean, you can place it outside because we're entering winter. Mm -hmm. um, just do the water bottle thing. Like that, bring, <laughs> don't traumatize a cat. <laughs> but like, spray the plant, and then you're messing the plant, it's a bonus. Mm -hmm. But um, just, yeah, like, they, they're, gonna, they're gonna get it. Smarts are pretty smart. They can be a-holes, but <laughs> yeah. they're smart. Um, yeah, like, but like, I don't, we're so lucky with them, because I, we seen a lot of videos on TikTok. Again, I did say he was crazy and that was when he, he, when he was young. And I, I know that he was like a small kitten. Um, but he was still a kitten. But now he's like, I think what are we, two? He's already two years old. About to be three. Yeah, so he's going to go for a long time. Yeah. So so place, what, oh, so answer the question, just put it on top. Yeah. I guess for like the, those two questions, I, I mean, we, I remember we had the info. Oh, no. That's where I give her away. <laughs> Not give no, her away, but it's like... because my mom also liked her a lot and like they wanted a cat and I was like, well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you're looking for a white cat and I have a white cat. <laughs> we do see Nico. We actually saw her. She got fit. Well, she's buff. 
<laughs> she's, yeah. she's really well loved. It's because by the area they live in, they, they have to like they have to keep their pets inside yeah. or roll the cage because like there's like lots of natural predators on the outside. They built like one of those like new like um, building areas, so like there's still a lot of wildlife. There's like snakes and scorpions and like, big lizards and like hogs. Yeah, with big lizards. So yeah. I can imagine like Nico, like Nico walking outside just see like a coyote. Oh hey, I'm going back inside. Oh my god. Alrighty. I'm gonna repot this one, which is still an unknown plant. I thought it was a jugaboogie for the danger, but I don't think it is. It's this massive girl. She's in a I don't even know what size what pot she's in. We got it from River Gardens for $24. And she's like, she's just so cool. So we're gonna go repot her right now. <laughs> Dope. Next question by Lisa Ixad. I'm sorry for the name. Hi guys, glad you're back, Israel. Happy Halloween. We are fortunate. Why am I talking British for some reason? It's okay. <laughs> Hi guys, glad you're back, Israel. Happy Halloween. We unfortunately don't celebrate it here in my country. My question for you is begonias, their condition and lighting basically care. I'm at loss with them. I'm guessing that you just want like basically like, the care of like begonias. I mean, I'm not a pro, and some begonias did go with me, some didn't, fortunately. But I think for begonias, like I, from my experience with some, I guess just only water when soil is dry. They don't like it way, way too wet. So I think it's better just to do bo bottom watering. Yeah. Because bottom water, like a lot of people would say it's a lot more better. Yeah, I, I think they don't like getting their soil wet up on top. It's better on the bottom. And then for lighting, I think it's just indirect light. I mean, my boo has, well, he has like, two, there's like two big ones. There's one here that was, that's mine, and there's another one in the living room, which is just in the middle of the living room. So it's not like getting, well, it was getting grill light and it was doing so good. It's yeah. still doing okay, but she's not thriving as she was in a grill light. But she was getting artificial light. So, the grill light, yeah. Yeah. But there were some that just like, they did good even without light, which is crazy. But, yeah, just only water, bottom watering and only watering when it's dry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good stuff. There's just, there's one I just got posted right now. Okay. okay, funny question for you. How did you and your boyfriend meet? I'm sure there's a great story there. Love you guys. I was looking for that. I was young and I didn't know what to look at. And again, I didn't have no friends, so I didn't know how to socialize. Well, how to like, I didn't have connections with who to talk to. Me neither. Uh, well, you had friends on board. You had a cousin. My cousin wouldn't even talk to me. Because we couldn't really relate. Except Jennifer, but like, she has a kid now, so it's still fine. We saw chat and thought, but like it's still right now. Um, grinder. Then I saw that. If you don't know what grinder is, it's a. Like, well, don't, don't, don't well, no, hold on. Um, you can search the notification on YouTube whenever you hear your husband on that topic. <laughs> I'm kidding. What happens? Uh, I'm trying to help someone. Somebody, <laughs> if I was a straight woman, and so I would, that would help me. I want to know. <clears throat> no, but um, it's it's a it's it's <laughs> it's a <laughs> gay app that um us gays or bodies or whatever that um we just chat. It's mostly used for other stuff that I cannot say, but I and I'm pretty sure you too. We were, I was looking for friends or for a boyfriend, and then I met you, and then we just clicked, and then boom. We moved in. You moved into my house. Yeah. And then I was like, hold on. This is an apartment. So we got an apartment, and now here we are. Yes. <sighs> everything happened so fast in the beginning. Because <laughs> I was doing everything. No, because I'm, you know, girl. I'm a kind of girl. I'm the kind of person. I'm a kind of girl. <laughs> that like, would pay like $50 for like, next day delivery, baby. That is true. So I wanted what I wanted. Uh, I want to secure the bag, so <laughs> the lease came in. I'm kidding. <laughs> whatever reason, like whatever. No, and I and then I had my check, which helped a lot yeah, to get the the apartment. 
And then at the same time, like, I, I'm that kind of person that wants to leave the nest early. Like, I left my mom's, like, at 17, and I lived to my grandma's because she had a room, and I was like, um, I want to learn how to be independent. And now, I mean, I know I'm leaving out of her, but I was going to buy my own toothpaste, my own toothpaste, my own toothbrush, my own everything. And I wanted to, like, know how much it was going to be to, like, stay independent. Mm -hmm. um, and also experience it before I actually move in by myself. And then uh, if I didn't mention, I would have moved into an apartment by myself, but I met you, and I was like, it's even better. It's even better. Um, but yeah, on a dating app, well, on an app, and we clicked, and now we're here. Now we're here. <laughs> with uh, with the cat, a loud cat, and a doggy, no mom's looking after, and 40 fishes. Okay. 40 fishes. No, it's not 40. No. It's like 30, 20. No, it's like 20. Sure. 20, a big pleco, and a crab. She just needs water. That's all she needs. <laughs> <laughs> what? She just needs water. That's, that's all she, she needs. needs. She just needs water. And a little bit of like foot footing support, but that's fine. So. Um, and actually, I just finished recording. So, we did this one, which I need to want water really bad. And then we did this one. Supporting. Um, then we did the snake plant and this beautiful Hoya. And I'm gonna go ahead and water these and then place them in their permanent spot. Well, in their spot, because I'm moving them all the time. But um, yeah, thank you so, uh, thank you so much for everybody that left a question. And the ones that didn't, you guys, I mean, I love y'all, I love all of y'all. Thank you so much for watching the videos, basically. I appreciate it, I hope you guys were entertained in some way and got to know us a little bit more. Um, this was very, very fun. So I need y'all positive vibes. Do you want to say anything? I'm like, wait, just... You know, it's Halloween today. And just stay safe. Check your candies, because you never know. And yeah, just have a good time today. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! Bye! <laughs>